I can see clearly now. No, let's not sing. I can please see clearly now. I have LED headlights. Look at my lovely Defender and he's got, we've got the base model, haven't we? So let's release our headlight guards, Tyler. Oh, oh they stick in those bottom ones, don't they? What's that? Brilliant. Right. So we have LED headlights in our Defender. Now, our Defender, because we're on a bit of a budget, aren't we, Tyler? Mrs. Powerful wouldn't let us have much money to spend on toys. So we only could afford the Model S. So this is the base model Land Rover Defender. And it has LED headlights. And LED headlights are really good. They don't consume much power. And they have a very white, bright light, which is good. But it turns out if we had more money and a bigger budget, we could have got even better headlights. So they did three. I keep doing three. They did three models of headlights on the Land Rover Defender. They had, for us paupers, they had... Not really. They're still expensive cars, aren't they? Um, for us, on a more restricted budget, they had the LED headlights. Just LED headlights. And they're great. And then, if you had a little bit more money, you could go for LED premium headlights. And we've got them all lined up on the table. I'm going to go through them all. And this is, as ever, just based on my understanding. But you'll notice on my headlight, this sort of outer frame is just painted silver. There is low no illumination in fact what we will do in a minute is we will just check what, how this illuminates where do i have the drls illuminating in here is it just these or what we will take a look so we don't have this what they call signature strip which gives you these sort of driving along with these sort of little they look quite evil don't they look like some, so we don't have that so can you fit led premium headlights into a base model land rover defender we are going to have a look in this video we're going to take the headlights out we'll show you quickly how to take the headlights out and we will plug one in and we'll see if our car goes up in smoke or if the lights indeed work you've done your fire training right tyler yeah, yeah good right we also it turns out there is a third version of headlight for those that were flash and extravagant and it's called the le the Matrix headlight. Oh, and these are the these are the lined up. These are lined up in budget order. So this is what the headlight for the base model looks like. Okay, painted side. You can see it's got quite a big reflector in there. You can see the different sort of mirror surfaces, much like a conventional headlight. And there's sort of an LED hidden somewhere, and it shines the light down onto the reflector, and bam. Oh, don't drop it. Um, right. This is LED premium. And you'll see now the silver edge is replaced by this sort of um, lens diffuser. That's the word I was looking for. This sort of optical diffuser. And behind that, there's LEDs that sit. And also, look, you can notice it matches around these here. So where these, these are painted around here, these have got the diffuser style. So I guess all that lights up and gives you a full sort of DRL signature groovy thing. And then we get, you stay there, I'll move round tires. And then this one is a thing of much beauty, apparently. Apparently, this is the LED matrix headlight. And how do we know? I know because of this engineering part number. And in a minute, we will go and look at our spreadsheet. It will tell us how, and I will share it with everybody so you can decipher. If you find these on eBay, you can decipher what type is what. Now, I don't think we're going to pick up, but actually inside, so you'll notice that the premium and matrix headlights have a completely different look they have like this glass eye in the middle and behind that there is some leds now if you put your eye right next to this one i don't think we're going to get it on a camera if you put your eye right up to it like this and go you can see in behind there's a circuit board with two rows of leds is it going to get it no it's you just getting you yeah 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 you got it it's like a very matrix. Blurry. It's very blurry. You've got a sort of matrix of LEDs. But if you look, if you listen, if you listen, if you look in this one, there's just a couple of LEDs. You cannot see the matrix inside them. Um, but your best bet is the engineering part numbers. Now, we, we have got a headlight that's broken somewhere around. And we may do another video, not this video, where we'll strip it down, yeah. smash it open. Yes, Tyler likes the smashing open videos. Right, let's have a look at the spreadsheet, Tyler so oh i got told off tyler did you hear about this apparently i said the americans were driving on the uh, wrong side of the road 
and, and the Canadians now feel left out because apparently they drive on the wrong side of the road and feel they deserve a mention because they're part of the Commonwealth, apparently. So, so apparently, Tyler, so we have right-hand drive cars, which is what we in the UK drive, okay? But apparently, Fra oh, I threw France under the bus on the spreadsheet. Look, so apparently um, France, America and Canada, part of the Commonwealth, they drive on the left-hand side. So as well as having three types of headlight, the LED base spec, the LED premium, and the LED matrix. Um, oh, I haven't explained what the LED matrix does. I'll explain that a bit. You have that for right-hand drive and that for left-hand drive. So this spreadsheet gives you the Land Rover part number, the engineering part number, a description of it. Some of these are superseded, which side of the car it's fitted to, left-hand drive, and then you've got the same information for left-hand drive and actually actually i forgot haven't we got another one for north america yeah and we've got because they, they like to do things a bit different don't they okay and you've got the usa spec ones here um, and they probably have some slightly different configuration in terms of approvals and stuff but we've also put the list price here so you can see that you know a headlight can range from 800 pounds cheapest up to um, 1,600 pounds. So that, they're getting quite pricey, these headlights. Right, LED, how do we explain how LED matrix headlights work? Let's, let's go to the garage door, Tyler. Right, so what does, so these, this is the beam pattern of normal LED headlights. Now, you can see here, they're sort of like almost four squares. You can almost see them here. I've drawn around them so it makes it not so clear now. Let me rub that off. It, it was clear on this side, wasn't it? But you could see almost, four sort of squares here. Now I was expecting a beam pattern for a right-hand drive car to have a sort of kick up on this left-hand side because you can illuminate the pavement but not oncoming traffic. But it, it seems fairly flat. It does, it's got this middle bit here but then it does sort of dip off this side, doesn't it? But it's a bit weird. We'll have a look what the other headlight beams pattern looks like. We'll try and do it so we change just one headlight so we can compare between them. Um, right. So that's LED. We'll have a look what the beam pattern is. I think it would be better on LED premium. And on LED matrix, what it does is it actually puts main beam on. And if it sees a car coming towards us here, if we've got a car coming towards us, what it will do is we'll turn off the light in this area so that we're not blinding him. And as he moves along and drives past us, it will turn off the segments of the LED light that he's in, so we're not being antisocial. But actually, he doesn't care if I shine full beam over over here, that's not antisocial, that's not gonna glare him. So what these LEDs, LED matrix headlights do, you can effectively drive with full beam, as I understand it, but it's got like an anti-antisocial mode and it locally turns off the lights for the other traffic on the road so you're not blinding them. So that is really cool, especially if you do a lot of night driving and you struggle with night driving, this could be a game changer. So we are gonna have a look at these lights. Right, the next thing we are gonna do is we are gonna have a look on the LED headlights, what comes on with DRL. Now we're gonna to have to open the car because it thinks, it's, it thinks it's in a dark garage. Right, so at the moment we've got the headlights on, haven't we Tyler? Right, let's whack that on. Ooh, right. So here we go. So I think the car will think it's not in a garage now. We've got enough light hopefully coming from outside. So if you go around the front tire, I will start it up and we'll see what lights come on. Right, we've probably got no nothing on at all, correct? So when you start your car, you do not get any you do not get any illumination. It's only when I put it in gear. So I'm going to put it in gear now. And as I move away, it puts on the side lights. Now here's the interesting thing. So you notice the light intensity. Now I'm now gonna turn the side lights on manually and look what happens to the intensity. So they should have dimmed. So the side lights, Tyler's nodding. So the, tie light, the side lights dim slightly. So, all right, let's not carbon monoxide ourselves anymore. So what you've got there is, for the LED headlights, it just uses those two side squares as DRLs when you start, but you've got to start the car and select drive for those to come on. And then additionally, 
when you turn your side lights on, they dim because it thinks it's evening and light time and those DRLs will be too bright. So that's what you get, but you haven't got that nice signature thing. Right, Tyler, we have got to take a headlight out and we are going to try and fit. Let's have a look, Tyler. What do the sockets look like on the back? So this, what is the plug? Where is the plug? There's the plug. So that's, that's quite funky, but you're loving that, are you, Tyler? Right, without scratching it, can I get this other one in my... Look, it's like I've got twins. Now, do they look... They look like the same badger, don't they? So can we just plug it in? It's, different, it's got different pinouts. It's got different pinouts. Different pins populated, yeah? Yeah. Are they the same? Some different? of them are the same. Some of them are the same. It's Some. bottom row here. See that. Uh, but we've got... got yeah. Now, well, when we take the headlight out, look at me with my headlight. When we take the headlight out, Tyler, we'll have a look at the connector and see how many pins are populated on our stick, on the actual car connector side, and see whether it looks like they're going to work or not. Right, let's whip those headlights out, or a headlight out. Right, so I think we've got a full video on doing this when we took the grill and everything off. But we've got, so are they Torx T30s? Yeah. So we've got four Torx T30s along the front, and we've got these two-piece clips we've got to take out at the back where you get the little screwdriver underneath and you separate that middle bit out. There you go. And we'll take those out. So we'll get on and take all... Oh, to pull the middle bit out. We'll get on and do those and then we'll come back and remember what's the next bit we've got to do. Right, that's your front panel out. We're going to have to watch our own video. Now, we, ours is slightly complicated. So we're trying to... You can see the headlight bolts here, look. We're trying to get to that, but to get that off, we've got to get that this surround off. And to get the surround off, we've got to take the grill off. I'm pretty sure we've got to take the old radar connector out. Um, I'm careful with the radar. Now, ours is complicated because we've got the... So we're going to have to take this off. Right, we'll, we'll get on and work this out. Right, I've just noticed one design fault. So this front winch guard is made from this tubular section here. And clearly what happens is this fills up with water. Because look, when I took this bottom retaining bolt out, Right, it's uh, not going to do it. I'll do it on the other side. It literally just the whole cylinder of water just dumped on the floor. So we're going to have to drill an additional drain hole in this tube. So they go Land Rover, put an additional hole. Let's see if it'll do it on this side for me. That was a bit. I just got nasty. I got piddled on. We've also got a bird, Rosie. Been attracting Easy. the birds again every time. It's like removing a sump plug. <coughs> oh, look at that. Come on, Land Rover, don't, don't do this to me. Look at that. I wonder how old it is. Yeah. Mmm, fine vintage. Right, next thing, this radar. So behind here on the grill is the radar that's used for the adaptive cruise control and your emergency braking. And we've got to just pop this connector holder out, I think. Right, that took a bit of squeezing. Um, so you squeeze that out, but basically yeah, you just got to squeeze those two barbs in and sort of force it out. Then turn them over, pull that little grey plug out, boop, boop. slide him out, he says. Right, so yeah, pull that out, push that, and it will release it. You see, when you push on that, it opens that little mouth there. You got that tied up? Yeah. Right, so there we go. Look, check those pins are all good. Right, so that's the radar disconnected. Now we've got a disconnect. The grill, and I, I, I think, uh, isn't it just one of those horrible, yucky plastic clips that yeah, you can't? It's just you just have to squidgy point. clips. Oh, my head's just horrible. Like, they don't even give you a knife. That bottle <laughs> there anymore. Did. So you, 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 you should possibly better get be, behind them. And what do they clip into? Uh, yeah, so it sound. looks like you've got a sort of push them sideways but they're just they're kind of yucky aren't they could probably get a long screwdriver of some sort down there but to release them the top ones you can definitely release yeah. i didn't do that very well anyway right oh gosh right and then these these weren't any better were they tyler right have we got was, there a... was that him yeah that's him all right we'll undo that one right we swap sides Tyler's realised this is the ones we've got the headlights for to change. So. Right, that's that bolt out. He's not orange, Tyler. It's oh. been missed. Right, 
So this <laughs> should have a load of clips along here. Now, did it come out with the bottom one as well? Right, now I think if oh. your, yeah, I think if your clips, I think my clips have had better days. Um, but basically there's supposed to be some clips that go around here. Um, and that comes out, whether it's easier to take these out. So I guess on these, what you're supposed to do on the grill, as you probably see better on here, these were the same clips, weren't they? You're supposed, to, but they do have a ramp in and a ramp out again. You see that, Tyler? Sort of got a, so they should sort of find their way out. Right, how close are we to getting this headlight out now? Do you reckon? A few bolts, I think. A few bolts. Do you reckon we can get it past the horn and everything? Yeah. So we've got like one, it's a bit sad. two, three. Do you reckon that's the three, Tyler? We'll have a look at. Let's have a look at one of the other headlights. So yeah, it looks like it's just the three. One, two, three, and we've got the connector in that bottom corner there. Right, let's crack on. Right then, going to get the bird out of the grill. Oh, he's a bit, he's a bit rigor mortis, see? Oh, he's, he's, oh, I pulled his leg off there. He's, he's, the, the description is worse than the, what's actually going on. He's, he's, he's proper mountain here. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to give you a decent burial. He's, he's wrapped around the... Oh. <laughs> oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. It might be a feature. It might have a genuine partner brought him. I think he was clinging on. So, oh, missing... R.I.P. bird. If you're missing a pet bird. Yeah, there you go. Bye-bye. Well, right, we'll, we'll give him a respectful burial later. Right, right, he was just biting me. And look, they've designed a little clip at the bottom here. So they've got a peg. But they've got this little clip that I guess when they're assembling at the factory they pop that on and that might just hold it in place while they put the bolts in which is clever but it makes it a little more tricky for us um, as we go to get it out there you go so you've got to give it a bit of a, a snazzle on there right then well, we've still got the connector on board haven't we Ty? yeah it's a question of whether we're gonna have to get that from the back right then. All right what connects the technology? Oh, it looks like we've got something at the bottom here, Tyler, I reckon. Oh, got, yeah. Oh, let's see it. Can you see that? Yeah. And as you pull that down, it self-extracts. We've got that out. Yeah, Boy, yeah, quite a good bit of clippage. It does look really quite good. Right, so there is our LED matrix headlight. Right, so we've had a look at the pins, and this is my original dirty one. If I'm holding it this way, We've got one, miss one, and then three, and then a complete row of four. The light keeps changing, which is actually one more pin than the, the LED Premium, not LED Matrix, always oh, heavier. Um, so that's got one, miss one, three. Oh, and then four, it's exactly the yeah, same. same. So, the, so the pin out is the same. On Right, so let's have a look. Let's get the... So, yeah, it all seems to work. God, it's, we? it's bright. It's bright. Should <laughs> we have a look at the... Let's bolt that in properly, Tyler. And let's have a look on the garage door and see what the beam pattern is. So we've got... We've got a signature strip. Yeah. Let's have a look at the beam patterns better. Right, so there we have it. We've bolted it in. So now you can see this side of the door is our original base LED headlight with its little four funky squares. And over on the right-hand side, this is the new premium led now it is a much cleaner line you've got this clean left and drive what is that that is a weird we've got some dirt on it now it's got a little funny little dot just there tyler goodness knows what that is um so there we go so let me get out of the way and you can have a look so we'll take a picture of that if i take a picture of my phone see how that comes out on my phone i'll put that up on the video now stop Right, so here we go. So we have got now, we've got the DRLs on, so you have to put it in drive to get the DRLs to come on. So, But then when you put it in drive, they come on, and when you put it in park, they then stay on. So this is, so LED premium headlights, you can just slip in and they work. Right, and drive, uh, so, so this is the basic one here. 
so you can see we've got the extra signature strip so that's cool right do you reckon our luck's gonna run out with the so yeah. i think with the matrix one it uses the camera up here that is behind this mirror here needs to clean that windscreen um and i think it must need that to do the vision sensing so i think we are going to have to go into the dark side a bit aren't we tyler and we're going to have to activate the in the car configuration file we're going to have to activate the matrix headlight technology so we'll bolt the matrix one in now i don't want to encourage people to change their ccf files we're just doing it for research and development okay so we are not going to drive the car with the led matrix it's just researching what is possible what can be done to try and help people fix and repair their cars right let's get it bolted in and see what the wiring looks like right so we have put the led matrix headlight in now interestingly so you can see this is the base level one on this side on the right hand side of your picture and it looks very similar to the led premium the drls all light up at the front don't they tyler we've got the yeah. signature strip and everything but when we put it on main beam it's no brighter i'll show you now now is that because it's stuck on permanent main beam because that's how it works let's have a look so main beam dip beam main beam dip beam right so i am going to finish Woo! turn the ignition off i'm going to finish this video here today so what have we learned tyler there are three types of headlights led led premium and led matrix led perfectly good perfectly fine um the led premium they do seem to have a better light pattern by virtue of that glass ball it does seem a better defined position and you get the drl and the signature strip and they plug straight in then you've got the top of the tree which is the led matrix headlights they plug straight in now tyler check the pins and the pin configuration actually is the same on all of them i don't know how we got confused earlier we're just going to have a look at that one in a second that one's the oddball so basically on our car a model s all three of them will work but what we have to do i think is we'll have to do another video where we go in and see if we can get into the dark side of car software and all that stuff i don't know if we're that good tyler and see if we can configure the car configuration files to tell it it's got led matrix headlights and see if that will work so the plot thickens so this is a led headlight here led base model but look we've got we've got the two the two bottom ones we've got one missed one and three which is the same isn't it and then a row of four and then but you've got this extra second row of pins here so i don't know why this one is different to my headlights it's the other, it's the other oh you could be onto something here tyler i wonder if it's got a control module on one side um we better take the other side out and have a look haven't we yeah. i think you're onto something tyler i think that is the other side but i think we'll find the pin configurations the same right little sub note let's get and have a look right so tyler was correct the left hand side headlight has extra pins and it looks like it's probably got more functionality in the left hand one and the right hand one's more of a slave function that would appear to be the case right tyler yeah. so what i've said may or may not be true the problem is i've only got one led premium headlight which is this side which is the slave side so it worked as a slave fine but i'm not sure it's going to work as the other side and all the headlights we've got have got the same number of pins on the left hand side which is more pins than the right hand side which is what was confusing us earlier so we have now put in two led matrix headlights now we know the led matrix headlights are not likely to work straight out of the tin we think there's going to have to be a software change and what we've done is we plugged them both in and some strange things are happening so let's firstly start the car and have a look what happens so Tyler was going to have to use sign language to explain to me. Right. Right. So we've got main beam on, yeah. We've got we've got some, and then we've got. But if you come around here, Tyler. So we've got some function, and we'll go outside and have a look. Now I've got some emergency brake and steering faults come up um, because I haven't got the radar connected. 
But look, this is what we've got. We've got the headlight fault detected. So it's not happy about something. So it's detected that the headlight we've got in and it's come up with this headlight fault detected. But the headlights still work. We'll see the beam pattern now. I'll show you what the beam pattern looks like. So this is, so the headlights are working. You could drive with these. We have got dip B, but some strange things are happening. If you look on the left hand side here, we have got the, the signature strip and these little two side squares, but this one here, the two side squares have not illuminated, but the signature strip has um, here. It's dimmer, isn't it? It's, it's dimmer, has it dimmed it down? It's done like the not side light version of it. Let me, let me put the main beam and let's look on the door, Tyler, when I do the main beam. Oh, there you go. Can you see the start, the start of an array coming on there? And I think this is the segmented bit here that you saw. I think this is part of the matrix thing. But I think we're back to where we were earlier in the video, Ty, where I think we're gonna have to, let's not carbon monoxide ourselves. So we are gonna have to have a play a bit more. I still, my hunch is the LED premium will probably still work. I'll have a look in the CCF files and see if we can see what the settings are in there for the headlights. Right, one last thing. Ben upstairs said to me, Simon, what's the deal with the headlight washers? And that's a good question because our headlights do not have any washers. There's no washers. Um, now, I thought it was a stipulation that in the UK for HID and LED headlights, you needed to have a headlight headlamp washer um, because if they get dirt on them, they can dazzle people. But this car has got LED headlights from factory and doesn't have it. And it looks like the headlight wash was actually an option, even on the top of spec cars, with the cold climate pack, Ben is telling me. He's just been on the configurator and tried to, to, to build one. Right, so we'll leave it there. It's kind of half. It's a work in progress, but quite interesting. Anything else to add, Tyler? No. no. Right, we'll keep working and uh, look out for part two.